Let's jump right in. So Gabby, first question is this, flood insurance must be purchased from whom? The NFIP, the National Flood Insurance Program. Lance, what's the minimum and max amount of flood insurance needed? 100,000 and 250,000. Gabby, what's the penalty for violating ECOA? That's 10,000. What's the four elements of a valid contract? Competent parties, mutual agreement, legal object, and consideration. Competent part, and, and one way to think about it is this, competent parties are considering a mutual agreement for a legal object. What is the front end and back end ratios for conventional loans? That's 28 front and 36 back. What is the front and back end ratios for a USDA loan? 29 front, 41 back. What is the front end and back end ratios for VA loans? There's only back end, so this is gonna be 41. What is the front end and back end ratios for a FHA loan? 31 front and 43 back. An applicant can request a statement of reasons within how many days of receiving the original adverse notice? That's 60 days. If an application for credit is denied based on the appraisal, the borrower has how many days to request a copy and the lender has how many days to deliver it? Borrower has 90 days to request a copy. The lender has 30 days to deliver it. ECOA deals primarily with what? A credit application. What is included in the APR? Fees that relate to the actual mortgage. What is not included in the APR? It's going to be your 10X. Your T is for title insurance. Your E is for escrow. Your N is for notary fee. Your A is for appraisal. Your C is for credit report. Your T is for termite inspection. And your S is for seller credits. When do you give the servicing transfer statement and how many days does the borrower have to get the payment to the right place? 15 days before the transfer and the grace period is 60 days. Awesome. Fannie Mae requires only a blank year history to be reviewed for all credit and public information. That's seven years. What's the minimum down payment for a FHA loan? 3.5% borrower's credit score is 580 or higher. 10% borrower's credit score is between 500 and 579. At what credit score is a borrower not eligible for a FHA loan? <clears throat> Anything below 500. What is the late fee for a VA loan? 4%. What is the late fee for a FHA loan? That's 4%. What is the late fee for a USDA loan? 4%. What's the late fee for conventional loans? That's 5%. How many months of PITI payments must be verified for a loan on a non-owner occupied property? Six months on a non-owner occupied property. How many months of PITI payments must be verified for a loan on an owner occupied property? That's two months on an owner occupied property. What percent of ownership do you need to be self-employed? 25%. If the lender report, oh no, if the, if the credit report does not show a required minimum payment amount, the lender should use an amount equal to what percent of the outstanding balance? That's 5%. Commission overtime bonus, and part-time income must be average over how many years? Two years. Consumer debts that have less than how many months of payment remaining do not need to be included for the purpose of calculating debt ratios? That's 10 months. 
What is a 203B loan? A 203B is a FHA fixed rate loan. Think basic. What is a 203K loan? A 203K loan is a rehab loan. So think thousands of dollars to rehab. What is a 203G loan? A 203G is a special loan for teachers, firemen, and police. Think good neighbor. What are two types of freehold estates? It's going to be fee simple and life estate. If a consumer requests cancellation of their escrow account, the lender must deliver an escrow closing notice no later than how many days before closure of the account. If the, if, if the consumer requests the close, this notice must be received at least three business days before the consumer's escrow account is closed. Now, if it is closed for any other reason, when must the lender deliver an escrow closing notice? <clears throat> the creditor is required to provide the notice no later than 30 business days before the escrow account is closed. How long do you have to retain till the disclosures? Two years. How long do you have to retain the DNC, the do not call list? That's two years. How long do you have to retain the MAP or the Mortgage Act and Practices Disclosures? Two years. How long do you have to retain the LE, the loan estimate? That's going to be three years. How long do you have to retain the LAR or the loan application registry? Three years. How long do you have to retain the LOC? That's going to be three years. How long do you have to retain the CD or the closing disclosure? That's five years. How long do you have to retain the SAR, the suspicious activity reports? That's going to be five years. How long do you have to retain ECOA, Equal Credit Opportunity Act disclosures? That is 25 months. How long do you have to retain the affiliated business disclosure? That's going to be five years. What is warehouse funding? Warehouse funding occurs when a lender obtains funds for closing from a line of credit extended by a commercial bank. What is an estoppel letter? It's when closing agents send an estoppel letter to the seller's lender requesting the payoff amount. What, who maintains Flood maps. FEMA. What is a deed in lieu of foreclosure? A deed in lieu of foreclosure occurs when the mortgagor voluntarily conveys the deed to the lender in exchange for satisfaction of the debt. Debtors still lose the property, but the conveying it voluntarily before final court action, they avoid foreclosure on credit, on their credit report, and the lender is not obligated to accept it. What are the four types of legal descriptions for properties? Monument method, government land survey method, lot and block method, which is the most common, mm -hmm. and meets and bounds method, which is the most accurate. What is a CTR and who does it go to? It is the currency transaction report and it goes to the IRS. The Bank Secrecy Act and the anti-money laundering laws require companies to file a currency transaction report with the IRS for cash transactions exceeding $10,000 in one day. The act requires financial institutions to keep detailed records of cash transactions exceeding $10,000, whether that's with withdrawing, depositing, or transporting. Who is the CTR under? BSA slash AML. Yes. Who are they under? They're under the US Patriot Act. 
A company which a consumer has an established business relationship or an EBR may call for up to how many months and what does the consumer, what if the consumer only inquires or submits an application? Okay, so in situations where, you know, EBR, that's 18 months, but in situations where it's a inquiry slash application, that's three months. Right. The DNC list must be updated every how many days? Every 31 days. The DNC must be retained for how long? Two years. What is the penalty for sending an unauthorized fax? That's $500. What is MARS Regulation O? Mortgage Assistance Relief Services. MARS rule. The Mortgage Assistance Relief Services uh, MARS rule helps to protect distressed homeowners from foreclosure prevention scams. Apply this applies to negotiators assisting borrowers with mortgage loan modifications. MARS, so under MARS, no fees are collected without a blank from the borrower. A written agreement. What does MARS prohibit? Ne uh, the negotiator cannot interfere with communication between borrower and lender and cannot tell the borrowers to stop paying their mortgage. The lender has how many days after closing to refund the borrower any portion of the charges that exceed the acceptable amount of tolerance levels? That's going to be 60 business days. And for non-numerical clerical errors, it's going to be 60 calendar days. Silla was implemented by who? Federal Reserve Board. Who administers TILA? The CFPB. What is loan flipping? Loan flipping is an abusive practice in which a loan is refinanced without any tangible net benefit to the borrower, a form of equity stripping. A creditor must respond to a payoff request within how many days? Seven days. Who took control of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac in 2008? Federal Housing Finance Agency, FHFA. And, and who allowed, who allowed it? it? That was HERA, H-E-R-A. Now, what is the appraisal recertification form called? It's the 442 form. A borrower's payment history on previous mortgages and rent must be verified for how long? 12 months. What are the eight protected classes of ECOA? That's going to be the score map. Sex, color, national origin, race, religion, marital status, age, and public assistance. You can't ask how many children, so how do you ask? Do you have any dependents? Mm -hmm. Now, you can't ask if they are single, how can you ask? Are you married or unmarried or separated? Who enforces ECOA? The CFPB. What is a defeasance clause? The mortgage defeation clause requires the lender to send a satisfaction of mortgage notice to the borrower within 60 days of paying off the loan. What is a subordination clause? A mortgage subord subordination clause. A mortgage subordination clause permits a senior mortgage to assume a junior lien position. What is the escalation clause? The mortgage escalation clause allows the lender to increase the interest rate of the loan under certain conditions. What are the max seller concessions on a conventional loan? So if the LTV, which means loan to value, 
If the right. LTV is over 90%, then the seller concessions is 3%. The maximum right. seller concessions is 3%. Mm -hmm. If the LTV is over 90%. Now, if the LTV is over 75% up to 90%, then the maximum seller's concessions is 6%. Now, if the LTV is 75% or lower, then the maximum seller's concessions is 9%. And if it is a investment property, right? If it is an investment property, then the maximum seller's concessions is 2%. Now, what are the maximum seller concessions on FHA loans? That's 6%. What are the max seller concessions on a VA loan? 4%. What are the maximum seller concessions on a USDA loan? That's 6%. What are the two appraisals for a VA loans? NOV and CRV. So that's the notice of value and the certificate of reasonable value. Yes. What is Liz Pendants? A list pendants is a notice filed by the lender when it initiates a foreclosure lawsuit. What are the three common disbursement plans in a construction mortgage? Voucher, fixed, warrants. And, and you can call, and, and here's the acronym to kind of remember it by, right? You think of it as VFW, right? VFW, voucher, fixed, and warrants. Now, what is a deficiency judgment? A deficiency judgment allows the lender to claim other assets from the bar when the proceeds of the foreclosure sale are insufficient to satisfy the mortgage lien. What is a 5-1 arm? A 5-1 arm has a fixed interest rate for five years and adjusts annually after that. What are the four in indices? Indices. It's going to be U.S. Treasury, Prime, Cozy and SoFi, and SoFi, which was previously LIBOR. Excellent. What is FHA reverse mortgage called? A HECM. H-E-C-M. A HECM. What does the SAFE Act stand for? It stands for Secure and Fair Enforcement of Mortgage Licensing Act. Who enforces FACRA? The FTC, the Federal Trade Commission. Who enforces ECOA? The CFPB. Who enforces TILA? The CFPB. Who enforces RESPA? The CFPB, but it was previously the HUD. Who created the DNC? Ah, the FCC and the FTC. Who implemented TILA? The Federal Reserve Board. Who implemented HUMDA? The Federal Reserve Board. Who created red flag rules? The FTC and FACTA. What is the IRS Form 8821? Tax Information Authorization. What is the 4506-C? And it, it used to be the 4506-T. It's the request for transcript of tax return. What is a QWR or a qualified written request? A qualified written request, a QWR. So here's the situation. Homeowners who are having issues with their mortgage servicers may take advantage of a provision of RESPA whereby a borrower may request information relating to the servicing of a loan. It is called a qualified written request or QWR. And it imposes a duty to respond to borrower's inquiries. Mm -hmm. A qualified written request, QWR, requires that the lender acknowledge receipts of the request within five business days 
and seek to resolve the issue slash concern within 30 days with a 15 day extension if needed, if it's in connection to notices of error submitted by the borrower. What are HCMLs? It's a loan that will be considered a high cost, which is section 32 and the loan is when the APR exceeds the APOR by more than 6.5% of the first lien, and that's of 500,000, 550,000 or higher, and then 8.5 on the first lien less than 50,000, and or 8.5 of a subordination lien. In addition, a loan will be considered a high cost section 32 loan if the points and fees exceed the following thresholds. 5% of the loan amount for loans equal to or greater than 22,969 or 8% of the total loan amount of 1,148 for loan amounts less than 22,969. Also high cost section 32 home loans have the following restrictions. So always think BAPS. BAPS is for most balloon mortgages are prohibited and borrowers must prove an ability to repay the loan no prepayment penalty, and the borrower must speak to a HUD-approved housing counselor. What are high-priced mortgage loans? A loan will be considered a high-priced Section 35 loan if its APR exceeds the APOR by more than 1.5%. 2.5% for jumbo first lien loans and 3.5% for subordinate liens. Section 35 high price loans require the following. Escrow account for the first five years, no prepayment penalty unless it is limited to the first two years of the loan and the lender must verify the borrower's ability to repay the loan. So think APE, right? A-P-E, APE. Mm -hmm. Ability to repay, no, prepay, no prepayment penalty unless it is limited to the first two years of the loan and must have escrow accounts for the first five years. What is another name for the GLB Act? Another name is the Financial Services Modernization Act of 1999. Under FACRA, when can you get a free copy of your, of your credit report? Consumers are entitled to a free copy of their credit report under Regulation V if information resulted in adverse action denial or the consumer is a victim of identity theft with fraud alert, or there's, there is inaccurate information as a result of fraud on the credit report, or the consumer is receiving public assistance or unemployment benefits. TILA applies to credit transactions payable in how many installments? More than four installments. How many pages is in the closing disclosure? Five pages. How many pages is the LE? That's three pages. What is the penalty for violating the GLB Act? Penalty for violating the GLB is five years and $10,000 for individual and $100,000 for financial institutions. What is a temporary 2-1 buy-down? A buy-down is when it allows a purchaser to reduce the interest rate on a mortgage by 2% for the first year, 1% for the next year, and then 0% every year after that. What is a suit of quiet title? A suit of quiet title, quiet, quiet title action, another name for it, um, is used to remove a cloud on title. What is a chain of title? 
A chain of title is a clear unbroken chronological record of ownership of a specific piece of property. What is functional obsolescence? Functional obsolescence is caused by a change in buyer's tastes. What is color of title? Color of title is the appearance of having title to personal or real property by some type of evidence, but in reality, there is either no title or it's defective, a defective title. This person is usually not the true title owner. What is trust deeds? So, all right. So, all right. So you're asking, what are trust deeds? Also, we want to talk about who are the three parties regarding trust deeds, right? So right. here's the thing. Trust deeds are instruments placing specific financial interest and title to real property into the hands of disinterested third party as security for payment of the notes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the, borrower, the borrower is called the trustor the lender is the beneficiary who retains the note and, and deed of trust. And the trustee holds legal title to security property described in deed of trust subject to terms of trust for the lender's benefits, right? Now, mortgages have judi uh, ju judicial Mortgages have judicial foreclosure and require court action to foreclose on a property. But trust, trust deeds, trust deeds are non-judicial mm -hmm. and do not require a court action to foreclose on a property. Now, what is, what is the 1003, the 1004, the 1005, the 1006, the 1007, the 1008, the 1009, and what is form 442? All right, so the 1003 is the application, which is a uniform residential loan application. The 1004 is the appraisal, which is a URAR, and that's the uniform uh, residential uh, appraisal report. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. um, the, the, which one? Which one? The appraisal, it? the 1004. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 1004, right. The appraisal, right. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. So the 1005 is the VOE, which is the verification of employment. The 1006 is the verification of deposits. And the 1007 is a verification of rent. The 1008 is a transmittal summary. And the 1009 is a reverse mortgage. And the 442 is a recertification of appraisal. What is the C, the five C's of underwriting? Capacity, capital, credit, collateral, and character. What are the six items that make a complete application? Oh, that one's going to be aliens. So your A is address, your L is loan amount, your I is income, your E is estimated value, your N is name, and your S is social security. What is the equitable right of redemption? Mm. The equitable right of redemption allows the mortgagor in default to pay the entire balance due and keep the property from being foreclosed. What is table funding? Table funding is the process that allows a broker to negotiate and close a loan under his or her name. After closing, the mortgage and note are immediately assigned to that investor. What is direct investor? Direct investor, right, funding occurs when the lender deals directly with the borrower without any middleman. What is warehouse funding? Warehouse funding occurs when a lender obtains funds for a closing from a line of credit extended by a commercial bank. What is a builder bailout scheme? A builder bailout scheme can occur when a builder or developer experiences difficulty selling his inventory and resorts to using fraudulent means to upload, um, fraudulent means to unload properties. What is dual tracking? 
dual tracking is under RESPA Section 6, and it prohibits dual tracking, which is con uh, which is continuing to seek foreclosure actions while the borrower is being considered for other workout options. What are the three types of caps on an arm? Initial, periodic, and lifetime. What is alienation clause? The alienation clause is a provision in a mortgage enabling a lender to demand full repayment if the borrower transfers the loan. What is exculpatory clause? The mortgage exculpatory clause prevents the lender from requesting a deficiency judgment against the borrower when the proceeds of the foreclosure are insignificant to pay off the mortgage lien. Who created the SAFE Act? The SAFE Act is part of the Housing and Economic Recovery Act, or HERA of 2008. Who created the CFPB? The CFPB, which stands for the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, was created by the Dodd-Frank Act and the Consumer Finance Protection Act. What does RESPA cover? It covers one of four unit residential property. When do you give the initial escrow statement? It's usually given at settlement but lender has 45 days from settlement to deliver, sometimes re referred to as the hello letter. Who enforces the FACRA, the FCRA? The FTC. What does TRID not apply to? TRID, TRID rules do not apply to these things. All cash sales, HELOCs, reverse mortgages, and mortgages for mobile homes not secured by real estate. What is simultaneous issue? It's when issuing both the homeowners and lenders title policy at the same time is called a simultaneous issue. Who is the grantor? The grantor is the owner of a property. What is HVCC? HVCC is the Home Valuation Code of Conduct. It prevents a mortgage broker from choosing the appraiser for loans that are sold to Fannie Mae. The Dodd-Frank Act extended the law to include all mortgages. What is the second market? All right, the secondary market. The secondary market is for private investors and government agencies that buy or sell secondary mortgages. Can consumers get mortgages from the secondary market? No, borrowers can only access mortgage products in the primary market. When does the GNMA, what does the GNMA stand for and what's the nickname? GNMA stands for Government National Mortgage Association. And, and its nickname is Ginny May. Who owns Ginny May? HUD, the US Department of Housing and Urban Development. What does Ginny May buy or sell loans or issue mortgage backed security? Or, I'm sorry, the question was Does Ginny May buy or sell loans or issue mortgage backed securities? No. Ginny May does not buy or sell loans, right? Um, wait, wait, hold on. No, Ginny May does not buy or sell loans, right? Ginny May only guarantees, right, slash insures government loans. Right. What does Ginny May do? Ginny May guarantees and insurers investors the timely payment of principal and interest on MBS backed by federal insured or guaranteed loans. What are the loans Jeannie May guarantees and insures? There's three. Mm. FH, uh, FHA loans, VA loans, and USDA loans. What loans does Jeannie May guarantee and what loans does it insure? Ah, that's a good one. Yeah. So it insures FHA loans, 
and it guarantees VA and USDA loans. What is a GSE and what are two examples of GSEs? All right, so GSEs, right? That stands for Government Sponsored Entity. And, it, and two examples are FNMA and FHMLC. What does AUS stand for? It stands for the Automated Underwriting System. What is Fannie Mae's Automated Underwriting System? Desktop Underwriter, also known as DU. What is Freddie Mac's AUS and what did it used to be called? It's the Loan Product Advisor, formerly, formerly the Loan Prospector or the LP. What is the 2020 2022 confirming loan limit? Mm. The conforming loan limit for 2022 is $647,000. $200. Are conventional mortgages assumable? No, they have a due on sale clause. On a conventional mortgage, can a down payment come from a gift? Yes, accompanied by a gift letter stating that no payment is expected. Bar needs to put 5% down of their own funds. On a FHA loan, what is the minimum down payment and can it be a gift? 3.5% for a down payment and it can be a gift accompanied by a letter stating that no payment is expected. What is the definition of debt service? So debt service means monthly principal and interest. So in other words, P and I, right? Principal right. and interest. When a borrower pays late fees, what do they pay it on? On debt service, only the principal and interest and not the taxes and interest. Only the PI, not PITI. What is PITI and what's another term for it? PITI stands for principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. And when we say insurance, we mean, you know, hazard insurance and, you know, uh, flood insurance and mortgage insurance, right? And so, um, and an, uh, also known as the monthly housing expense, right? The front end ratio or the housing ratio, right? So, so when, we're, when we're calculating the front end ratio, we're using the PITI. So what is the largest... In, so so who, who is the largest investor in the secondary mortgage market? It's Fannie Mae. Does Fannie Mae purchase balloon mortgages? No, they do not. Fannie Mae does not purchase balloon mortgages. Now, what type of mortgages does Fannie Mae not purchase? It doesn't purchase agricultural type properties like farms, orchids, ranches, or any undeveloped land. When was Fannie Mae created and what exchange was it eventually listed on? It was created in 1938 as a government agency. And then eventually it became listed on the New York Stock Exchange. What is the main purpose of Fannie Mae? It's to buy mortgages and notes from primary lenders so money remains in circulation. How many mortgages will Fannie Mae allow on a principal property? If secured by the principal residence, there is no limitation on the number of mortgages. How many mortgages will Fannie Mae allow on a second home or investment property? If secured by second property or investment property, a max of 10 properties can be financed. How many credit scores does Fannie Mae require for each bar? At minimum two, right? And they, they are now, now at minimum two, and if only two are, are used, then they use the lower score, right? Now, right. 
if if three scores if they have three scores though then they use the middle score right because this is the representative score what is an alt a loan mm -hmm. um a alt a loan okay so that is um a loan with reduced documentation high mm -hmm. ratio or limited assets mm -hmm. what is amortization it's fully paying off a loan and regular payments over a period of time where payments go towards principal and interest. What is negative amortization? When monthly payment is less than the interest due, so the unpaid interest is added to the outstanding balance, so the balance is increasing because the monthly payment isn't sufficient to cover the accrued interest from the previous month. What is a senior mortgage? It's the first mortgage filed and has superior lien position. What is a junior mortgage? Subsequent mortgages has a more subordinate position than the senior mortgage. What is a fixed rate mortgage? An example of a fully amortized loan in the beginning, the majority of the payment goes into the interest, but the payments in the last few years are going to principal. What is a balloon mortgage? A balloon mortgage is partially amortized, right? So a balloon mortgage is partially amortized, right? So months payments are calculated as if it was a 30 year term, but the balance of the loan will come due as a lump sum, right? So examples are five, seven, 10 years. Um, so what, what is a 36 slash 180 loan? It's a balloon mortgage amortized over 30 years with a lump sum payment due at 15 years. What is an arm and what is it made of and what part fluctuates? Adjustable rate mortgage, it has two parts. The, the, the index, which fluctuates and the margin, which is fixed. What is an index? An index fluctuates and is an economic indicator or lender does, that doesn't, <laughs> I'm sorry. It fluctuates and is an economic indicator. The lender does not control it. What is the margin? A margin is a fixed percentage. For example, it could be like 2%, right? It's a fixed percentage that is added to the index at each adjustment period, right? So um, fully indexed rate uh, factors in lenders profit and overhead. Okay, so the fully indexed rate um, factors in lenders profit and overhead. Okay, what is a mortgage spread? It's the profit the lender makes. What is an adjustment period? Adjustment period specifies the initial term before the first interest rate adjustment and usually adjusts every year. What is a rate cap and explain cap two slash three slash six. How much of, of the interest rate can change at adjustment period and over the life of the mortgage? For example, on a two, three, six max, the first adjustment is of 2%, the periodic adjustment is of 3%, and the lifetime max is of 6%. What are the five banking regulators? Mm. Federal Reserve Board, Controller of Currency, FDIC, National Credit Union Administration, and the CFPB. What is a bi-weekly mortgage payment and what is the benefit of that? It's paying the mortgage every two weeks, um, which is 26 payments in a year because you get two extra payments and you pay off the loan quicker. That's the benefit. Hmm. 
what is the term mortgage and what is the balance due at the end of the term? Mm. Non-amortizing interest only loan and the balance is due at the end of the term as a balloon payment. What is net tangible benefits? It's a refinance loans, which must make sense for the consumer and the cost of the commission of the loan can't be larger than the benefit that the consumer receives. What is a reverse mortgage? A non-recourse loan, exculpatory clause, right? Negatively amortizing loan for primary residences, 62 years, right? And have a lot of equity in their home. Oh, so. 62 years old, right? At least 62 years old um, and have a lot of equity in their home, right? Lenders can't go after their heirs, right? Mm -hmm. So now what is another name for reverse mortgage? Reverse annuity mortgage is another name. Do you need to know the qualifying ratios to give someone a reverse mortgage loan? No, you do not need to know the qualifying ratios for a reverse mortgage as the lender will look at the equity and will be paying the borrower based on that. All right, what is the 2022 maximum loan limit for a reverse mortgage? The reverse mortgage limit for 2022 is 970,800. How old do you have to be to get a reverse mortgage? Youngest person has to be 62 years old to convert, to convert equity in the home without selling or paying any money. What is the FHA's reverse mortgage called? A HECM, a home equity conversion mortgage. What are two disclosures that are required for a reverse mortgage? It's gonna be the GFE and the HUD, not the LE or the CD. In a reverse mortgage, what happens to the balance and equity? Equity decreases and loan balance increases. So rising debt, falling equity. What is the tenure method of payment for reverse mortgages? Reverse mortgage borrowers get a monthly check instead of paying a monthly check. What are the income requirements for a reverse mortgage? There are none but the borrower has to prove that they can pay for the upkeep of the property. So like taxes and insurance. What are the factors that determine qualification regarding reverse mortgage? And what's the acronym for it? So your V is gonna be value of property. Your I is gonna be expected interest on the loan and your A is gonna be age of youngest borrower. What must happen in order for the borrower to understand the reverse mortgage program? Mm, they must speak to a HUD counselor to make sure they understand the program. When does a reverse mortgage balance become due? It becomes due when the borrower dies, sells the home, doesn't live in the home for 12 consecutive months, defaults on their taxes, and lets deterioration or when the last surviving borrower dies. Mm. When can a conforming loan be sold on the secondary market? When they meet Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac's minimum standards. Mm. What are examples of non-conforming loans and can they be sold on the secondary market? Examples are a Alt-A loan, a subprime, a jumbo, and they can't be sold on the secondary market. What is a graduated payment mortgage or a GPM? Payments start low and increase over time. Beginning, right, there's lower payments. And, you know, and, and also in this situation, it's negative amortization, right? Negative amor amortization. And um, this is FHA. Now, what is a variable balance mortgage? A VBM or a variable balance mortgage adjusts the interest rate, but payments don't change. What is seller financing? Seller extends credit 
to the buyer to buy the property. What is a wraparound mortgage? A wraparound mortgage is a seller financing loan, which remains in the seller's name, and the seller finances enough money to cover the loan balance and whatever money the borrower needs. The borrower makes the payments to the seller and the seller pays the mortgage. What is a growing equity mortgage or a GEM, a GEM? Fixed rate mortgage set up like a 30 year conventional right, loan with payments that increase regularly, has a fixed interest rate so the loan balance is paid off more quickly, right? This is FHA. Now, what is a teaser rate for an arm? An introductory rate, which is very temporary, is that it lowers, it is lower than the fully indexed rate at the time of closing. What is the floor for an arm? It's the lowest interest rate an arm may adjust. What is payment shock? When a borrower's payment increases in a large amount at once, so that, that is why there is a cap. What is a convertible arm? Allows borrower to convert from an arm to a fixed rate loan, right? Um, and, and this is usually just, you know, one time during the loan, right? Can they do this conversion? What is a hybrid mortgage? You know, for example, a five slash 25. It's a combination of fixed and adjustable rates and or interest only. So a 525 fixed for five years and adjust annually for 25 years until the loan is paid off. How old can credit documents be on the date of, how, I'm sorry, how many, how old can credit documents be on the date the note is signed? No more than 120 days, right? So no more than four months. What does FICO score stand for? And what is the range of possible scores? It stands for the Fair Isaac Corporation and the score is from 300 to 850. What is permanent financing or a takeout? Once construction is complete, the loan is replaced by a fully amortizing loan, right? So that's what a takeout loan is, you know, construction loan where, you know, once the, the construction is complete, the loan is replaced by a fully amortizing one. What is equitable right of redemption? It allows the borrower or mortgager in default to pay the entire balance, avoiding foreclosure. What is a prepayment penalty clause? Borrower pays a fee if loan is paid off early. What is an open-in clause? It allows future advances from the same loan. The government requires financial institutions to file a SAR report within how many days of detecting suspicious activity if the perpetrator cannot be identified and how many if they can be identified. Okay, so if the um, perpetrator cannot be identified, right, it's 60, right, calendar days. And if, they, if the perpetrator can be identified, then it's 30 calendar days. What act requires mortgage applicants to provide their name, address, social security number, EIN number, and a government photo ID? The US Patriot Act. Do confirming loans typically have prepayment penalties? No, but if there is one, it has to be disclosed on the notes, the LE and the CD. Where do you find the prepayment penalty clause? On the LE, the CD, and the note under the loan term table. Under federal law, are prepayment penalties allowed on a fixed rate QM? Yes, but only for the first three years on a fixed rate QM. FHA requires how many months of ownership before resale? 90 days. What is a reconveyance deed? A method used to transfer a title 
for a property once it's fully paid. What is a prepayment privilege clause? It allows borrowers to pay a part or all of the loan before it's due without any penalty. What is an open end clause? Allows future additional advances from the same loan. What is a blanket mortgage? It covers multi tracts of land like construction or subdivisions. Who is an assignor? Assignor, right, is the party who is transferring contractual rights to another, right? They can sell the loan with servicing retained or can sell the servicing rights with the mortgage and note. <clears throat> who is an assignee? An assignee is the party who is receiving the contractual rights and the signer is giving the title to the signee. Who is a grantor? The grantor is the owner of a property who will grant the title to the grantee. So who is the grantee? The grantee is the party receiving the title transfer. What is a deed? So a deed is a written instrument used to convey title or transfer ownership. Now, what is a deed restriction? It may be placed in the deed and control the use of the property and run with the land. And it can't be discriminatory. A restrictive co covenant limits the future use of property. Who is a mortgage owner? Okay, so a mortgage or is the, the owner, the borrower, or the debtor, right? Okay. Who is the mortgagee? It's the lender or creditor. What is sweat equity? That's work done by the borrower that has value and must be listed on the appraisal to be eligible. Is sweat equity and a, and a, and a is sweat equity an acceptable source of funds? Sweat equity is not an acceptable source of funds. How can a homeowner stop paying flood insurance? They have to request a MAP amendment form from FEMA. Mm -hmm. What is forced place insurance? If a homeowner stops and fails to keep hazard insurance, the lender can buy and charge to cover their interest in the property. It covers the property, but not your contents inside and is usually very expensive. Is a conventional loan assumable? No, it has a due on sale clause. What is the upfront funding fee for a USDA loan? That's 1%. Does a USDA loan have PMI and a prepayment penalty? No, there is no PMI and, or prepayment penalty. What is COE? It's the certificate of eligibility. It's the amount of entitlement used for a VA loan. How much is a VA variable funding fee? 2.3%. How can a veteran get the funding fee waived? If they're disabled, more than 10% for surviving spouses or if they are a Purple Heart recipient. Is a VA loan assumable and is there a prepayment penalty? Yes, VA loans are assumable and there's no prepayment penalty or down payments either. Um, how much of the purchase price is guaranteed on a VA loan? That's 25%. What is the upfront MIP on a FHA loan? 1.75%. How much is insured on a FHA loan? 100%. Is the FHA, is the FHA loan assumable? FHA is assumable, but, uh, I mean, I'm sorry. FHA is assumable because it does not have a due on sale clause. Um, on a FHA loan, if the LTV is greater than 90%, when the loan starts, 
how long will the monthly MIP last? For the life of the loan. If the LTV is 90% or below when the start loan starts, how long will the monthly MIP last? 11 years. What are four types of involuntary liens? A tax lien, mechanics lien, judgments, and attachments. Regarding outstanding debt, how much will the lender use of the outstanding balance on a student loan for conventional and FHA? Conventional 1% and FHA 0.5%. What are reasons a reverse mortgage comes due? If the borrower dies, sells the home, doesn't live in the home for 12 consecutive months, defaults on their taxes, the owner lets the home deteriorate, and when the last surviving, surviving borrower dies. What is a quarterly report of the condition of the business that an entity submits through the NMLS? What are two parts of the MCR and one is state and the other is entity? Mortgage call reports, MCR, right? And there's the, the, the state level and the entity level. Now the state level, right, is, you know, residential mortgage loan activity reports, right? is completed quarterly. And um, so it's completed quarterly within 45 days of the end of the calendar quarter. Now, on the ent entity level, right, it's called the financial condition report, and that's completed annually within 90 days of the company's physical year end. Now, alimony, child support, retirement, and pension income must continue for how many years beyond application dates to be used as income? Three years. Which act requires mortgage applicants to provide their name, address, social security number, EIN, and a valid government issued photo ID? US Patriots Act. What's the IRS 8821 form? That is a tax information authorization form. The underwriter will consider what percent of rental income collected? 75%. Discount points are used to lower the interest rate. Each discount point will lower the interest rate by how much? That's 0.25%. What is the loan that has an adjustable interest rate that has payments that never change? Variable balance mortgage. What act says the mortgage broker can't choose the appraiser on a loan? That's the Dodd-Frank Act. What's the SFHA stand for? Special flood hazard area. When there's a 1% chance of the area being inundated by water, right? AKA you know, base flood or 100 year flood plain. When two or more parties buy the same or different, okay, wait, I'm sorry. When two or more parties buy at the same or, or different times and when their shares can be willed, what is that called? Like, it's, called it's called tenants in common. Mm -hmm. What is Mari? Mortgage Assets Research Institute. Something you can use, um, something you can describe, subscribe to. So it's something that you can subscribe to. Um, it's a collection of people who have committed fraud. What are the two reasons a reverse mortgage comes due? When the owner dies, sells the home, does not live in the home for 12 consecutive months, defaults on their taxes, the owner lets the home deteriorate, and when the last surviving borrower dies. This requires lenders to file a report regarding all loans made during the year. It's designed to help meet the housing needs of the community, and it's due every March. 
Humda reports. Now, they compile, uh, so, so what, what is this? They compile information as individual disclosure statements for each institution and in the form of aggregate reports for all covered institutions. What is that called? It's called the FFIEC, the Federal Financial, Financial Institution Examination Counselor. What are the five banking regulators? Federal Reserve Board, Comptroller of Currency, FDIC, National Credit Union Administration, and the CFPB. And that concludes our session for today. Thank you, Gabby, for being my co-host. This has been great.